Okay, so in this video, we're starting to think about how we're going to thread this relaxed, well-timed racket preparation and at what moment are we looking to arrive at the ball and essentially make contact with it. I feel that again, there's a, there is an optimum moment for a cleaner hit ball and maybe even a slightly more attacking shot, which is going to be nearer the top of the bounce. Many players have talked about this kind of moment where the ball is kind of weightless. I think that's a really useful thing to think about because it gives you a particular time that you can track your movement to and think about how you're going to line things up to that moment. Also, I think what's important if you are able to line the movement up and the whole swing preparation up to the top of the bounce potentially, it also gives the opportunity to choose and actually go, right, I'm going to wait when I get to the shot and use a hold and essentially break the rhythm of the swing up in order to break the opponent's movement up. So with this feed here, you know, I will give Karina the same opportunities, the same kind of feed situation and make the feed quite easy. But this time I'm going to actually ask her to alternate and mix between whether she wants to take the ball at the top of the bounce and kind of step and hit together and bring that movement and swing into one rhythm, or perhaps she will arrive with the opportunity for the top of the bounce but actually end up looking to then break that slightly and, and work the hold in. So, you know, the hold is a really, really crucial part of the modern game in particular. And as again, as you can see from, from this video here, that the, the rhythm of swing, the ease of the racket take back, and that opportunity to arrive at top of the bounce, to have the choice to either take it early or pause that swing and that movement slightly to hit long. But again, this is still happening within a very relaxed context, um, aiming for it to be as smooth and easy as possible.